Hi there, so Gary here from Craftmaker Pro and I've just made this quick video for you so I can show you how you can actually automatically price your finished pieces, um, work out the tax, different markup rates, um, and take care of all that for you without the headache of having to sit there and calculate different prices for different little pieces and stuff. So if we go into our pieces inventory, and I'm just gonna select one that I've already got set up here. Okay, so this is just an example piece that we've got here, so this blue necklace. And you can see we've already added some different parts to it. So this is from our inventory. So we've made two pieces, and these are the parts that we've actually added here. So we can see that we've added uh, a number of parts, and because we've got two pieces, it's actually doubled that up. And these are the different parts that we've added, uh, the different unit price for each of the parts, uh, the extended price is the total price of all the parts um, per unit per piece that we've actually made, and then the tax as well that's actually been calculated. So all that's automatically done for you. So each time you actually create a new piece, um, you just add the parts in from your inventory and then Craftmaker Pro will do the rest and it will just work out the percentages out of your actual costings for you. So it will then add all that together. So if we go into the cost tab, let me just scroll down here. So we end up with our total cost of our materials, the total tax paid on the parts, um, you have to fill in a couple of details here, so you just put in the hours required, so how long it's actually taken you to actually make this finished piece. Um, your hourly rate, which again, Craftmaker Pro can actually calculate that for you, so if you check out our hourly rate calculator, um, we actually work out for you what your hourly rate to run your business needs to be to cover all your overheads and costs, something very important that a lot of people don't take care of. Um, it will then tell you what your actual labour was for that. You can add in any other cost, so if you have something else that you add in, some packaging or ribboning or something like that, you can just add that in here as a miscellaneous cost. So then Craftmaker Pro will give you the actual total cost of your material, your labor, um, and your other, whatever that might be. So you now know what it's actually cost you to make this piece. So that's the first bit taken care of for you. So now in terms of sale pricing, if we go into the sale price tab, we can have some different markup rates here. Now, Craftmaker Pro has three different markups. So we have wholesale, direct, and suggested retail. So these are suggested markup rates only. You can actually adjust these, so you can just click in the box, and you could, you could change these to whatever you'd actually like it to be. These are just some suggested rates that come pre-populated in there. Okay, so then what Craftmaker Pro will actually do, so it's gonna work out what your sale price should actually be based on the markup. So your sale price for this will now be your markup of your actual, the cost of your pieces, um, and then whatever else you've actually added. So it's actually calculated the sale price for you. It doesn't actually mark up your, your hourly rate, because your hourly rate has already been calculated in the hourly rate calculator, which is um, something else that you'll do just in the simple setup procedure when you actually start Craftmaker Pro, it's very easy to do. So anyway, it'll tell you your, your sale price there and actually gives you your gross profit. So you have the three different price options here, and that depends on which customers you're actually selling to, and then you can select whichever price you actually want on an invoice. So you can select from the three options that you've got, or you can actually just manually override it if you need to round up or round down to the nearest cent or, or decimal place, whatever it might be. Um, we also have an Etsy fee calculator, so if you're actually selling on Etsy, um, we have a tutorial that will show you how to use this. It is quite simple, but essentially you just go into the calculator. Just bring this over a little bit. Um, you just fill in some details on the fees that you actually pay for Etsy, PayPal if they're included, um, how many you've actually sold, what your shipping and handling might be, um, the total Etsy fees get worked out for you and then it will give you a profit. Or we have a reverse Etsy fee calculator so you can actually put in how much you would actually like to charge or how much sorry, you would actually like to receive and then it will tell you how much your total price actually needs to be. So Craftmaker Pro can do that for you as well. So that's it really, it's very simple to do, you just create a piece, add in the different parts that it's taken to make that piece, and then Craftmaker Pro will do the rest. It will work out the cost of your materials, work out the total cost for you with your labor, and then it will give you the markup rates, and then you're ready to add that to an invoice straight away. So if that's interesting for you, then if you wanna click on the, uh, the download button on the page below, and don't forget as well, we do give you with Craftmaker Pro because what we're very keen to do is make sure that you grow your business. You get a lot of free training, so there's some Facebook training, Twitter, um, Pinterest so that you can make sure that you can actually grow your business and actually get these pieces out to your fan base and actually get some exposure for your work as well. So click on the button below and you can download a copy of Craftmaker Pro today.